Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Techs. Today we're going to be looking at this from Acasa. It's basically a four port charge panel for your PC. So it goes in a three and a half inch bay on the front of your PC, it gives you two USB 3.1 Gen 1 headers so you can basically plug in USB devices to work on your PC, as well as two quick charge 3.0 ports as well. Please make sure you click the link in the description below and it'll take you to the latest prices and so forth. But the recommended retail price for this is roughly £18.95. Okay, as you can see, we've got the Acasa 4-port USB charge panel. It's got dual quick charge 3.0 and dual USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports. And as you can see, you can see the green connectors there, there for your quick charge. And then you've got USB 3.1 Gen 1, and those are the blue ones, which is for your standard connection to your PC. And that will connect up to your motherboard or controller with a standard USB uh, 3.0 connector. These will connect up to your power supply with a SATA based connector. We'll show you some pictures of those in a few seconds and you can see it here. It says quick charge 3.0 fast charging port with up to 18 watts output. It's got a QR code on there. Three and a half inch bay. That means it goes in a three and a half inch bay on the front of your computer. Um, so that gives you a rough idea. That's basically the size you'd normally get for an internal card reader on the front of a PC. Again, a lot of PCs nowadays are getting rid of these bays on the front because they're going all fans and RGB and stuff. But if you've got a case what can take it, this will allow you to connect up. And you can see that it says super speed again, 5 gigabits per second data transfer. Obviously that's using the USB 3.1 Gen 1 and device charging which obviously well, that's the point of quick charge um on the side of the box nothing on that side nothing on the other side nothing really on the top other than uh, superb design engineering bottoms nothing on the back as you can see there it shows you the quick charge ports there function usb 3.1 gen 1 to uh, two ports um, of each so one for the quick charge uh, two for the quick charge two for usb 3 again it says 5 gigabytes per second for the USB 3. Obviously, if you're using USB 2, it's going to be 480 megabytes per second. But again, it doesn't come with a USB 2 header, so if you were using an adapter, it gives you a rough idea what sort of speed it would be. Uh, internal motherboard, USB 3 connector. Uh, as we said, that allows, obviously, the um, computer to uh, uh, talk to this, so you can plug in your USB devices and transfer data. And then you've got internal SATA power connector. That's for the quick charge. It's DC 12 volts and internal device, mounting screws and user manual. That's basically what's in there. And then you've got a few different bits and different languages there. Um, the model number is AK-ICR-34. So let's have a look what we've got in the box. Okay, so this is what you've got in your box. So first of all, let's start with the manual. You've got that, so it's four port USB charge panel. And as you can see, it tells you about the different ports tells you what the different connectors are we've already mentioned and how it fits in the front of the machine uh, and where they connect up to so for example the SATA connection plugs into the power supply and the USB 3 goes in believe it or not the USB 3 header on the motherboard so pretty simple you've also got four screws that will allow you to screw it into your computer case using these holes here depending on uh, configuration. Um, there's six holes in total but generally you only need to use four screws to screw it in so it's quite simple. So let's have a look at the connections first. First thing I've noticed which I'm not the biggest fan of is this SATA cable here. This SATA cable, let's get it there so you can see it. Um, unfortunately um, is multicolored, so black and yellow. I wouldn't like to see it black only, so it'd fit in with anyone who's got a windowed side on the PC or anything like that. Um, but again, most of the time you'll be feeding that around the back of the case anyway, so you probably won't see much of it, but there's a chance you may. So I would have liked that being all black. Um, our yellow has no right being inside a PC. I can't remember the last time someone had the PC set up as black and yellow. Uh, the other cable, which is USB 3, which will plug into your motherboard header, 
Um, that one is your traditional black with the blue end, which obviously is going to go in the socket, so you're not going to see the blue bit, but that's pretty straightforward. Sort of length you've got on these. Let's have a quick look. So the length you've got on the SATA cable is just over 60 centimeters, 65 centimeters, which is about 25, 26 inches. On the other cable, it's actually a bit longer. That's your USB free one. I can grab it. Length of that cable, you're looking about 70 centimeters. Yeah, you're looking about 70 centimetres, which is roughly 29, 30 inches, maybe about 75 centimetres altogether if you stretch it really tight, but you shouldn't need to do that. So let's have a look what we've actually got. So you've got your model number and everything on there. You've got your marks uh, for C and E. You've got all your, obviously, screw marks on the side. The bottom, there's not much to see. Uh, and then you've got the front, which is the bit what obviously you're gonna be using once it's in your machine. So as you can see, you've got those two quick charge ports, which are green. Obviously, if you plugged in a memory stick into there, it's going to do absolutely nothing because that will not connect up to the PC. Um, you will have your USB 3.1 Gen 1 headers there, um, so you can plug in your memory sticks to transfer data or whatever else you want to on there. Um, bear in mind, you can also charge your devices through those as well, probably just not as fast as the quick charge uh, there, but USB, um, USB 3.1 Gen 1 is usually pretty quick anyway at charging um, due to the power output. Um, but otherwise, that's pretty much it. There's not much else to see. You just push it in your machine, plug it in, and away you go. We'll show you some pictures of what it looks like.